I'm Tia and I'm here to show you how to get the perfect Gigi Hadid inspired makeup look. So I'm going to start with my primer. I'm using this lovely one with a golden glow. Just a couple of pumps, nothing too crazy. You do want to cover all areas, but really focus on the bits that you want to stand out a little bit later when we highlight the skin. So that's your cheekbones, the middle of your forehead, the bridge of your nose, just above your cupid's bow and your chin. Now I'm going in with my concealer. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer today. I really like this formula because it's very blendable and it's not too heavy, so you don't end up with that caked, creasy look underneath your eyes. So I'm taking a fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to put the product where I need it the most, which is in the sort of inner corners of my eyes and just underneath, just to counteract any darkness. And I'm going to carry that over the lid as well. And I'm going to blend that out with my Trusted Beauty Blender. I'm then going to take a much denser coverage concealer. This is by MAC, and I'm going to mix these two colours here. So I'm just going over any areas that I have the sort of scarring or um, marks from blemishes that have now gone away but have left a little bit of a dark mark. And around the areas of redness like my nose and the corners of my mouth. And again in with the Beauty Blender just to blend that all out. I'm not using a particularly heavy foundation today because the look we're going for is quite light and fresh, so I'm just making sure that I've got no blemishes on show. So when that light layer goes on, there's not much work to be done. I'm going in with a really lightweight foundation today. I'm using a very flat head brush. This is just to make sure I can buff it in properly and not leave any sort of harsh lines. I'm just taking it a little bit below my jawline. And you sort of want the least product on your forehead because you don't generally need too much there. And again, I'm going in with my Beauty Blender just to really work the product in and to make sure everything is blended for that flawless finish. So now I'm done with the wet application part of my routine for today. I'm now going in with a powder to set everything. This one's by Bobbi Brown and it's a very yellow powder. I'm using a big fluffy brush by Real Techniques just to keep everything in place. And again, I'm using a swirly sort of buffing motion so that there's no lines and no telltale signs of where I started and where I finished. So next up, I'm doing my eyebrows, and I'm using this pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills Brows. Uh, it's her Brow Wiz pencil, and it comes with a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. So I'm going to take the spoolie end and just brush my eyebrow hair up. Using the retractable end, I'm going to paint almost like hair strokes in the direction of my hair growth. Just to fill in my brow. And then I'm taking this Brow This Way by Rimmel, which is a really nice coloured, like a brow gel set. And I'm just gonna lightly, super lightly, brush through the middle of my brows, just to hold everything in place. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm starting with a very shimmery colour. This is actually a highlighting powder by Kevin O'Quan. And taking a fluffy brush, tapping off the excess. I'm just going to start to work this colour into the inner corner of my eyes to highlight this area and then just brush that across my lids. And the less product that's on the brush as I work my way up to my um, the arch of my brow, the better. But again, I just want to create a very blended, subtle shimmer. I'm then going to go over that with a slightly more shimmery colour. This one's by Charlotte Tilbury and it's from her Fallen Angel quad. And I'm working this into the lid of my eye.
I'm going to line my eyes with this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. This is charcoal and a very, very flat head, thin brush, just to press the product into my lash line. And then I'm going to smoke that out with a domed head brush. Next up, I'm going to take this concealer pencil by MAC. This is NW20 or NC15, and I'm going to line the inside of my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Then going back to my quad, using the same brush, I'm going to go back to the lighter colour and just do the inner bit again. Moving on to mascara, I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I'm really going to concentrate on the outer lashes. So next I'm using a very nice peach blush here and a fluffy blusher brush. And I'm just going to dust off the excess. And at the top of my cheeks, not too much on the apple for this look, more here. Just going to lightly the colour on. So I'm just using circular motions to really buff this out. Really, really subtle. So I'm now using a magenta lip liner just to line my lips and to make sure my colour really stays all evening. So I'm now going into my lip palette and I'm going to mix these two colours here to make my perfect shade of purple. And then taking my concealer, I'm going to just tidy up around the edges where I've kind of overdrawn a little bit. So the finishing touch on this look is a little bit of highlighter. I'm going back to the Kevin Lacroix highlighting powder. And I'm just going to dust this anywhere that the sun or a light would hit. So the top of your cheekbones, just a little bit in the centre of your forehead. And that is the perfect Gigi Hadid inspired look for a night out or even just a sort of a day event where you want to feel a little bit more glam than usual. Oh,